Hello everyone and welcome back to another map feature on THFE. Today we'll be looking at a 1v1 map called Eggplant, which was forged by Orzium. Now, aside from this being a very cleanly forged symmetrical 1v1 map that looks beautiful and has a surprisingly fantastic use of lights, this map has quite a few tricks up its sleeve in terms of design. Um, that makes it play just as well as it looks. Now the first thing I noticed about this map is um, kind of how well the weapons complement their spawn locations. And what I mean by that is the weapons are kind of placed um, where they are to promote map movement to other locations on the map where you can kind of use those weapons more effectively. Um, and furthermore, the locations of these weapons and power-ups often uh, kind of throws you out in the open and which in turn would give away your location and uh, in a 1v1 setting giving away your location on a map puts you at a huge disadvantage so it's definitely a high risk situation in general when trying to control um, any of these power weapons or power-ups something else about eggplant's design that it excels in are its use of controlled sightlines. And although the map may seem a little more on the complex side at first glance, I found that over time you can really learn to use these more controlled sightlines to fulfill a number of roles in your playstyle. Um, things like tracking an enemy, uh, setting up a snipe kill, or prenating. Um, this setup allows players with a good awareness to track opponents as they progress in and out of the map's equal balance of open sight lines that put you out in the open, and also it's more enclosed sight lines which allow you to sneak around or flank your opponent. And although Eggplant is a fairly vertical design, the amount of movement options to counter those locations is definitely not lacking. With the choice of two one-way teleporters which take you to the highest point on the map, another one-way teleporter that acts as a surprise route behind one of the most used control points on the map, and a gravity lift which also takes you to the highest point on the map, there's enough options that you won't feel trapped on the bottom level. Um, all of these movement options seem pretty rewarding at first. Keep in mind that all of the teleporters lead you to areas with no cover and that the gravity lift is built so it's exposed from the brute shot side of the map and not to mention it gives an audio cue as to exactly where you are on the map um, just as the overshield does. So overall it's, it's really interesting to see how Orzium has kind of provided a lot of options as far as weapons and geometry. Uh, for players to take advantage of um, while still having really punishing disadvantages that go with trying to use them. Um, I know I've had uh, some really good matches on this, really good balanced games, really great 1v1 map. Um, but that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Um, subscribe for more Forge content guys. This has been Paints with the Halo Forge Epidemic and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.